Hi, I'm Dariel. And I'm Whitney. And this is 25 Out of Life. Young and Married. So, if this is your first time finding us, our goal is to break the negative notion of being married and being married young. Uh, we talk about everything from love, relationship, and uh, anything couple goal related. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about vision boards. So, if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you won't miss the video. If you've been here before, you might have seen our last vision board that we did in 2017 for going in 2018. If not, we'll put a link up here somewhere and you can click on it and check out that vision board. But we want to really talk about manifestation, but manifestation, but manifestation, but manifestation. Because when we did that vision board, not only did it work, but it worked, worked. Yeah. So it was awesome. We are really excited about vision boards. Like we didn't even realize how much stuff we had accomplished from our last vision board. So we definitely want to get you guys excited about vision boards and definitely take the time to do one. We love them. So we're just going to talk about a couple things that we accomplished um, from our last vision board. Here's a clip of our vision board from 2017. All right, as you can see on our vision board, one of our goals was more kids. That definitely happened. Not only did we have more kids, we added in my nephew, so. Ping. Another thing we had on the vision board was a new car. We also talked about getting a new home, and as you can see, we're in a new home. Another one of our goals on our vision board was traveling. And boy, did we travel. So that was all the things we accomplished for our last vision board. So now we're going into 2020 with a new vision board, a new mindset, new things to accomplish, new goals to reach. Yeah, so before we get started on our vision board, we want to give you some tips. Tip number one, make a list. Kind of make a list of everything you want on the vision board. So when you're looking for pictures or words, you're not scrambling around. You know exactly what you want. You know exactly what you're looking for. Oh, number two, be specific. Make sure that you cut out things that are specific goals rather than just broad goals. So don't just put travel. Pick some places that you actually want to go to. And you know, don't just put money, you know, Put them, if you want to make a million dollars, put a million dollars on your vision board. If you want to buy a new home, put home ownership on your vision board. Yeah. You know, so be, be very specific on your vision board and not just broadly naming stuff. Number three, have a time frame in mind. So just like going along with being specific, don't pick a broad, you know, over your lifetime goals. Pick something within a year or maybe three, even three to five years. It doesn't have to necessarily be a year. You don't have to make one every year. But we do want you to just, you know, pick specific places that you want to travel within the next three to five years. Um, if you want to make a million dollars in the next three to five years, put that up there. That way you have time to realign your goals as you achieve them. Tip number four. And that's once you completed your vision board, it's all beautiful, no glue is leaking, no tape is showing. You want to hang this bad boy up. Now, when I say hang it up, you don't have to physically hang it up, but you want to put it somewhere where you see it every day. If that be the garage, if that be the kids' room, if that's in the bathroom, if it's on the ceiling, over top of your bed, wherever you can see this every day because you want to mentally 
manifest these things just like you physically put them on this poster board. Right, because we, we all know that you heard of power of the tongue, power of writing things down, and the law of attraction. Right. So, we definitely think that it's true here. We definitely think that putting it out there into the universe can make it happen. Just being in that positive mindset definitely helps. All right, and tip five, nothing's gonna happen if you don't work for it. With that being said, uh, let's get into the vision board. So basically right now what we wanna do first is show you the minimal materials needed. All right, so the most important thing that you'll need is a poster board. And you can get these for anywhere, Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Target. Um, last, huh? Hobby Lobby? Walmart. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so last year we had a pretty gold trimming. Well, not last year, last time we had a pretty gold trimming. This time we just went with all white. Uh, you'll see why once we start. So next is magazines. We just kind of found them at grocery stores and yeah. Walmart. Wherever we went, we just kind of picked right. some up. All right, whenever we see some laying around, like you know how you go to the barber shop or uh, the dentist office, you know, ask them, hey, you mind if I take this magazine? And uh, we found a couple of local magazines. They're always free. Like, you can see them in hotels or uh, restaurants, uh, even at your grocery stores. So that's number two. You can use magazines, newspapers, printouts. So if you don't want to, sometimes you want to have to purchase magazines. If you don't want to purchase them, you can just find stuff on the internet, print it out, works just as fine. Glue sticks, make everything stick. Pretty pink scissors. Bold black scissors. <laughs> Y'all like how I did that? She said pretty pink sauce. So anyway, um, I just made it up on the top of my head. I'm nice like that. Oh, these are our colors. Oh, uh, these are our colors. We didn't plan that either. <laughs> the, the 25 life. Um, and then some other things you might want are color pencils, pencils, gel pens, stuff like that. Sprinkles, not sprinkles, uh, glitter, glitter, uh, <laughs> stickers, things like that. But these are the minimal things, and that's what we'll be using. All right, so time to get into it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to start going through the magazines and picking out things that we like that, you know, that's going to be good for the vision board. Um, so what you want to do is just go through, if you see something like travel or whatever you want to put on your vision board, you know, and just kind of mark it. Um, what we usually do is we like bend the page so we can go back and cut it out. Um, and then you want to try to sort everything out. Um, like, so all the travel stuff over here, healthy stuff over here, whatever you're going to put on your vision board, money, whatever. Um, make sure you sort it out before you put it on your board. And then after that, go ahead and get it, get it, get it up there. Um, it's good to have a good mixture of words and pictures, um, not just all pictures. So, oh, so the words kind of define the pictures that you put on the vision board. So that's why we like to do a mixture of both. Uh, and it's really simple. Pause. <laughs> All right, I think we forgot to say this, but we want to remind you guys, this is 25 to life, so this is a couple's vision board. Right. So you want to look for stuff that inspires you as a couple, things you want to do as a couple. We said it in our other video, uh, as you probably saw. So you uh, got... Inspires. You think the thing expires? It sounds like you're saying expires. Expires like yo. That's what it sounds like you're saying. Inspires you as a couple. Things that inspire you as a couple. <laughs> so you're looking for like couple goals, um, not just things that you want to accomplish, but things that you want to accomplish together can, as a couple. Can anybody see you? I, you can see me. Well, okay, we could barely y'all could barely see her in the corner <laughs> over there. All right, so all right. So like we said last time, you want to travel, you want to travel together, pick some traveling. You want to make more money together, pick more money. If you want to read, but your husband doesn't want to, don't put that on your vision board. Yeah. That, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just a joke because she just said that, which reminded us that we needed to tell y'all it was a couple's vision board. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to the cut.
So this is our finished work of art, as you can see.